When parents start to introduce solid foods to their young babies, they wonder how it all works with nursing or bottle feeding. This is a really good question. It can be confusing at first. And when you first start to introduce solids, you start with one meal of the day. So let's say you want to make this dinner time. You feed your baby a solid food feeding and then you follow it up with either a nursing session or a bottle. And once your baby is well established at that meal, you add in another meal. So slowly over time, your baby will gradually get to the point where they're eating solids for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. And babies between eight and 12 months of age are drinking about four to five bottles a day at four to six ounces each, and they might drink a little bit more before bedtime and in the morning, but that's, that's a rough estimate for how much babies are drinking at this point. So you want your baby to work towards this amount, but of course this is going to happen slowly. And if you begin introducing solids at four months, um, know that it is going to be a slow process. Now, as your baby becomes better established on solids, understand that your milk supply may seem like it's diminishing just a little bit because your baby is getting nourishment from other sources now. Up until a year of age, a baby's main source of hydration should remain either breast milk or formula, but they are receiving nutrition from other forms, and so they don't drink as much as they did. Or maybe they're drinking as much as they did, but they're not drinking as much as you may think that they need. If you're breastfeeding your baby and wondering about whether or not you're making enough milk for your baby, pay close attention to the number of wet diapers you're seeing. And if you're seeing at least six a day and your baby's happy, healthy, and growing well, then chances are great that they're getting enough to drink. Now, of course, when you're formula feeding, you can see how much they're taking in. And if you're concerned about it or feel like it's not enough or worried about your baby's growth in either situation, don't ever hesitate to talk with your pediatrician and they can decide if anything needs to be changed up. But generally speaking, it always works well if you follow up a solid food feeding with either formula or breast milk and your baby will naturally fall into an eating habit similar to yours so that when you're eating, they're eating. If you have any other questions for me in the future, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash intermountain moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.